right corner, you can see a mini-map, which shows your tank as an arrow. It also shows the positions of your enemies and allies as icons. Your opponent this time, a training target, is the red icon on the map. Your allies' icons are blue. Wait until the tank turret finishes rotating and the weapon sight is aligned with... Switch to gunner view. You can use zoom to get a better view of the target. The aim assist indicator in the center of the screen shows where the shell will strike when you fire a shot. Depending on your target's armor thickness, the aim assist indicator changes to various colors. It turns red if the current shell cannot pierce the armor, yellow if it is possible to pierce, and green if your shell can easily pierce the armor. One of the best ways to destroy a tank is to put its crew out of action. Move the reticule over the central area of the tank. Now fire at the fighting compartment on the tank. You have... When a shell penetrates armor, the X-ray window appears in the top right corner. This shows which parts of the tank. The enemy tank is considered destroyed if it has less than two crew members remaining inside. If there was any crew in this vehicle, they would be in big trouble. Now, switch to third-person view. Another effective way of destroying, or at least most armored vehicles, have their engines at the rear. Continue by moving the reticule onto the rear of the indicated tank. Now, switch to gunner view and fire at the tank engine. engine, ammo rack, or fuel tanks inside the tank are damaged, this may cause an explosion or start a fire. Good job! Now you have to complete a real combat assignment. Capture and hold a strategic point. You can see a marker above the capture point. If the marker is white, this means that the Move into the capture zone. Capture the point, you must drive into the capture zone. The border of the capture zone is delineated by a white line circle or square on the ground.
indicated point, but you can't capture the zone while it still has enemy vehicles in it. Destroy the enemy tank. Great! You destroyed the enemy, and now you can capture the zone. Wait for the marker to turn blue, and for a message to appear notifying you that you have captured the zone. The capture zone's marker has turned blue. That means the zone now belongs to your team. If the enemy team had captured the zone, the marker would have turned red. Capturing strategic points is one of the main methods of winning a battle. When one team captures more strategic points than the other team, the enemy team begins to lose points. Victory is achieved when the enemy team loses all its points. So, always try to keep control of the strategic zones. Great job! You won! Now you're a true tanker!